Hey folks, Sam here. I did a live stream earlier today where I mentioned an account, Marvin Gay on Twitter, and uh, showed you some of the links and things that he has posted, and he's updated uh, his Twitter profile and pointed us to a new uh, image that's got a lot of stuff in it. And uh, here it is right there. I want to kind of go through this in some detail and just kind of walk through what I think it is probably about and we're gonna start over here um, so first off you've got Trump's here he's draining the swamp you can see the big swamp monster is the CIA the NSA making up the deep state it's got all the eyes it's watching everything inside of the swamp you've got uh, you know all these familiar characters from the FBI many of which have been fired you've got the mainstream media of course we have uh, Mockingbird and you know that was the program in the 50s or whatever it was now it's far more sophisticated you've got Google you've got uh, the UN the Bilderbergs are uh, up here in the corner you can move that so I can see it a little better uh, you've got Capitol Hill the Federal Reserve back here the Rothschilds I think this is Soros up here um, and he's you know basically sitting there taking on all of this. And if you've been following the Q uh, stuff that's going on and kind of what he talks about, this is a lot of it, getting all of this. There's so many pieces to it and so many layers of protection uh, that have to be removed before you can attack the real problem. And Q even gets into and is suggesting that there are spy satellites and things that they have had to take offline in order to proceed. And that's you know, part of this whole big process of what's going on to eventually get us here. Um, now this is, uh, let me, I'm going to disappear here. Um, this is from a uh, Q, uh, it was a, it was a Twitter post that Q referenced and said, add somebody in here and then you've got it. Uh, and these are all the people that are supposedly in the you know in the Q world of things that are going to end up facing uh, jail time or prison or Gitmo or whatever it is. Now my biggest question is why isn't Cheney in there along with a lot of others? He, you know he's such a massive criminal, uh, but I've never seen any Q reference to him whatsoever. And that that guy, who talk about a bad dude. Uh, but anyway, so I think that's kind of. What he's saying here is that draining the swamp is going to enable or lead to this right here. You can see we've got Uranium One and Russia Gate. Now Clinton was selling all kinds of secrets. Uh, there's the whole Uranium deal. You know, they were making money and he's calling it out, AKA treason and sedition, justice now. So the idea is that getting all of this crap out of the way here is going to enable the truth to come out and put some of these guys behind bars and uh, you know I've talked to you about what happened at the wedding and how clearly something's up and on the way uh, here we've got a little image showing the uh, deep state and and suggesting that it has deep roots into Swift into the Illuminati over here into the dollar and controlling the economy and of course consumers uh, the citizens are burdened with debt and of course the government's contributed to that when they're like well we got to boost the economy go out and spend and consume that's the answer which it's really not um down here in the bottom we've got uh, this is i think from john wick trump's face has been put in there in the middle and it's showing you know everything abc entertainment industry Clinton machine, globalist elites, special interests, Univision, United Nations, Politico, DNC, NBC, Wall Street, White House, CNBC, Washington Post, CNN, <clears throat> CBS, GOP elites, and what is that, Boston Globe, are all, you know, pointing guns at Trump saying, you know, we're going to get you, sucker. And so far, he's managed to outsmart them. Now, up here at the top... We've got Brexit with a box around uh, the UK on the map here, and it's got a line through the national emergency. Now, I've talked to you about how the no exit deal could, what they're saying is 
it's going to be a national emergency. We might declare martial law and have, you know, troops out on the streets and this and that because it's just, you know, everything's going to fall apart or, or something. doesn't seem very likely or realistic to me, but it could be part of this plan that he's suggesting. So Brexit is tied to a national emergency, which is tied to Q, which is kind of, you know, part of what he's been talking about and suggesting, which is tied to Trump. And, you know, we just, he just declared a national emergency, as many of you know. And, and it goes through the XRP symbol, which is in his hand. So perhaps Trump will be the one to announce something related to XRP, I think is what this is suggesting. Now, if we take this down from here, you can see uh, Trump and Putin, uh, United States and Russia have made a deal and we've got arrows going up and down. So, and, and we've got this pile of gold here that's tied into Q. Now Q has told us, uh, yes, we have the gold. gold, gold will destroy the Fed in one of his posts. Um, I don't know if Trump's made, uh, Trump's criticized the Fed and so forth. So maybe that's the tie in there. It's also overlapping BRICS here and overlapping Russia. I don't know if this arrow is saying Russia's going to give gold to the United States or to Trump in exchange for XRP and that China is going to do the same. It's going to be kind of funneled up, but he's also showing Russia and China have made a deal as well. And it involves gold potentially, or the tie-in could be that they are going to somehow uh, back BRICS with gold. BRICS being the sort of uh, alternative to SWIFT. They're trying to get a, get away from dollar hegemony and create an alternate sw system to SWIFT. And that may be part of this process as well. And then you can see down here on the bottom, we've got another pile of gold connecting China, the U.S., South Korea, and BRICS. You've got peace between North Korea and South Korea. And of course, uh, you know, I'm a critic of all politicians and presidents and everything. I don't like Trump or Bush or, or uh, Obama or any of them. But I got to hand it to Trump here. He really has made more progress than anybody. There was a video of the leaders of North and South Korea stepping over the DMZ and, you know, shaking hands and the, the, the attitude there, the environment, the atmosphere there has absolutely changed since Trump kind of got involved here. So, I, you know, I got to give, give him credit where credit's due. So, you know, very interesting kind of graphic. Is this what we're waiting on? Is, is this Brexit going to trigger the national emergency, the whole Q stuff uh, that we've, that we're talking about with the mass arrests and so on. That's kind of what Q points to. And it's, there's, I've been given a lot of hints from various people on Twitter that kind of dropped me some clues that have caught my attention in one way or another that suggest this is all tied in. Are they correct? I don't know. I'll leave that up for you to decide, but I'll point out this right here. Um, the EU withdrawal bill has confirmed at 2300 GMT on Friday, the 29th of March, 2019, Great Britain will leave the European Union. And here's the countdown timer. Somebody on Twitter, Cryptomaniac101, pointed me to this. 41 days, 23 hours, 25 minutes, 35 seconds to go. So interesting something to watch for um is it all going to turn out to be true i don't know but uh, you know there's definitely i've i've barely scratched the surface and i've shown you guys some other youtube channels if you want to go kind of come up to speed on the q stuff uh feel free to do that I, I think there's certainly something to it and we're seeing some pretty clear indications that definitely some of these things are going on is this all going to unfold here in 41 days? Boy, that would be nice. Um, who knows? Wait and see. Just wanted to share this with you guys uh, so you kind of understand what I, and see what I see. And if you have further thoughts about it, leave them in the comments, and I will catch you guys next video.